the result of the ascertainment and counting of the electoral vote for President and Vice President of the United States for the term beginning on the 20th day of January, 2021. The report we make is that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris will be the president and the vice president according to the ballots that have been given to us. The whole number of electors appointed to vote for President of the United States is 538. Within that whole number, a majority is 270. The votes for President of the United States are as follows. Joseph R. Biden, Jr. of the state of Delaware has received 306 votes. Donald J. Trump of the state of Florida has received 232 votes. The whole number of electors appointed to vote for Vice President of the United States is 538. Within that whole number, a majority is 270. The votes for Vice President of the United States are as follows. Kamala D. Harris of the state of California has received 306 votes. Michael R. Pence of the state of Indiana has received 232 votes. The announcement of the state of the vote by the President of the Senate shall be deemed a sufficient declaration of the persons elected President and Vice President of the United States, each for the term beginning on the 20th day of January, 2021, and shall be entered together with the list of the votes on the journals of the Senate and the House of Representatives. The chair now recognizes for the purpose of closing prayer the 62nd chaplain of the United States Senate Chaplain Barry C. Black. Let us pray. Lord of our lives and sovereign of our beloved nation, we deplore the desecration of the United States Capitol building, the shedding of innocent blood, the loss of life, and the quagmire of dysfunction that threaten our democracy. These tragedies have reminded us that words matter and that the power of life and death is in the tongue. We have been warned that eternal vigilance continues to be freedom's price. Lord, you have helped us remember that we need to see in each other a common humanity that reflects your image. You have strengthened our resolve to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, domestic as well as foreign. Use us to bring healing and unity to a hurting and divided nation and world. Thank you for what you have blessed our lawmakers to accomplish in spite of threats to liberty. Bless and keep us. Drive far from us all wrong desires Incline our hearts to do your will and guide our feet on the path of peace. And God bless America.
we pray in your sovereign name. Amen. The purpose of the joint session having concluded, pursuant to Senate Concurrent Resolution 1, 117th Congress, the chair declares the joint session dissolved.